Jim, the threat of storms putting flood victims on edge. And tonight, they're also facing a key deadline to get help from the Great Lakes Water Authority. Yeah, midnight tonight to file a claim. And let me start off with telling you they were too busy here at the Water Authority to talk with us on camera. They did confirm in an email what we were told by sources that the Water Authority has only $10 million to cover these claims. What would be your message to the Great Lakes Water Authority? Read everyone and take it seriously. And if you doubt this, come to my house. This is Danielle's 100 year old house today. Original wood paneling stacked up behind it, mold, dangling wires and gas lines. The water came in on June 26 through floor drains and her toilet in the basement. And get this, they now have this industrial air scrubber cleaning the air. Their insurance won't pay to live someplace else. We have headaches, nosebleeds, dizzy spells. We can't be down here without respirators. Like, that is not safe. They were paid $10,000 for insurance for sewer backup and five grand for other damage, but they're still facing tens of thousands in losses. They applied to the Water Authority and FEMA and were denied by FEMA. FEMA has told us they will pay to make a house habitable, but not here. Danielle has appealed. Am I allowed to say pissed? <laughs> yes. Livid, infuriated. It's, I don't understand how FEMA can say we're here to help make homes habitable and safe. This is not habitable. No. And they're not helping you. Nope, nope, nothing. How many have you filed? Over 600. He's with the Venn Johnson Law Firm, the first to file a class action lawsuit for flood victims. Yep. These are pictures of basements, flooded streets, and the gross points back in June. And this video, where the water from the sewer ran down the stairs right into Paul's basement. He says the water authority is taking claims only because state law says they must. What's the likelihood any of this is going to get paid by the authority? Uh, if I had to calculate, it would be between zero and zero percent. That's just rough math. On so my this part. is just a runaround. It's then. a runaround. That's why they're suing. And the attorney says the 10 million the authority confirms is their general insurance coverage with hundreds of millions in damage, he says, way short. That's shocking. They take in 500 million a year. Now, in an email from the authority, we were told they don't know how many of these claims they've gotten or how much in damages they are seeking. They say they are evaluating whether the sewer backups are their fault. As we've been reporting, the CEO here, Sue McCormick, is resigning. Her exact end date still not known, but that could be determined when the authority board meets tomorrow morning. Live downtown, Jim Kirstner, 7 Action News.